In this video, I will use the product rule to find the derivative of a product of functions. So we have given that f of x equals 4x and g of x equals 7x squared plus 2. Use the product rule to find d dx of f of x times g of x. First a note on the notation. This d dx, this is uh, the notation for the derivative of. So a reminder, if we had uh, y equals 4x, uh, also defined as f of x, then we could say that y prime is the same thing as f prime of x, or the same thing as dy dx. So that's, that's the notation that we're using here. And instead of writing y, we're writing whatever it's taking the derivative of. So we're actually writing the function or the, or the function titles here, or the product of the titles as we have here, the function names f and g. So just that's the notation. Now, in general, if you have, if you have some function, I'll use h of x just because we already have an f of x here. But if you have h of x, equals functions u times function v. And that's what we have here. We have a, a product of two functions. Then the derivative, the derivative of that product equals u times dv dx plus v times du dx. I'm going to put a point on this v to make sure that you see that it's a v and not a u. So uh, oftentimes you'll see this written in shorthand without the dx. And in proper notation has the, the dx there, but it's u dv plus v du, uh, just so that people can, can remember that. Um, they, they call it different names like um, ultraviolet uh, voodoo or, or other things, whatever helps you uh, remember that, that's, that's okay. The ultraviolet, that's U, and then the V, and then, and then the voodoo with the, uh, the V, and then DU. But in any way, in any event, whatever helps you remember that, that's, uh, that's what works for you. So let's rename this then, the F of X as U, the function U, and the G function as V. So then if we had... Uh, h, our h function, not the derivative yet, but the h function just equaling 4x, that's our f function, multiplied by 7x squared plus 2, then we could just run right through and say u and then v and call that u and v. So let's do this. We've got h prime of x, and I'm going to substitute this in. So first the u function, that's 4x, multiplied by dv dx, so the derivative of 7x squared plus 2. Well the derivative of 7x squared is 14 times x to the power of 1 plus 0 because the derivative of a constant is 0 plus v, our v function, that's 7x squared plus 2, all being multiplied by the derivative of, of uh, the u function. So that is just 4. The derivative of 4x is just 4. So I'm going to label this real quickly just so we can see what's going on. So this is our u, this is our dv dx, this is our v, and the 4 is our du dx. Now we can simplify all of this, and, and I'll try to do this a little bit more quickly because this part is just some algebra. Uh, 4 times 14 would be, let's see, 40 plus another 16 would be 56. 56x times x is x squared, plus, let's distribute the 4, and you get 4 times 7x squared is 14x squared. 
Ah, that's not, I thought I was slick. It is 28 x squared. 4 times 7 is 28. If you beat me to that, good, good. Okay, uh, 4 times 2 then is 8. Combine some like terms. 56 plus 28. H prime of x equals 56 plus 28 is not 70, but 84. 84 x squared plus 8. That is the derivative using the product rule. If you are thinking, hey, why didn't we just multiply these right away? Good for you. I'm glad. I'm very glad you were thinking that because you should. You should multiply that first right away and then take the derivative. But the reason I'm showing you the product rule is because uh, sometimes with trigonometric functions, as we'll see in, in later uh, s videos in this series with trigonometric functions, you can't just multiply uh, the, the two functions and then take the derivative. You, you have to use this, this uh, product rule.